Good afternoon, folks. Today is February 24th, 2024. The Zeker 001 restyling. Auto competition is so fierce in China that it's crazy. In my lifetime, I've never seen any auto brand improve a car so much simply by restyling it. Anyway, you'll see for yourself now. We've been waiting for you. Before that it was 540 horses, now it's 780. Just a restyling and just a bonus of 240 horses on top. It used to be 3 and 8 to 100, now it's 3 and 3. For those who don't understand, like 3 and 3, 3 and 8 are very close, the difference is enormous. Next, there's a new LIDAR, which is now on the roof. The autopilot has become more accurate. In total, there are 28 LIDARs, sensors and cameras. There is a built-in video recorder. On the suspension, the front is double wishbone, the rear is multi-lever and now it is a double air suspension. The bumper is different, now more sporty, he borrowed it from the more powerful version of the Zeker FR. As we can notice, the bumper now breathes both left and right. Smart LED headlights cooperate with LIDAR. Know where to shine, how to shine. They know when you need high beam, when you need low beam. The rims are still 22nd, a little bit changed design. Tires are 265 by 40. Brakes are still Brembo, perforated. It doesn't matter here whether the handles freeze up in winter or not, simply because they don't come out at all. It's just a button. Now what if I step back? Okay. The glass is the same as it was. The interior trim materials have changed. Door card. The upper part is made of leatherette, quite a quality leatherette. Here now it is Napa, inside a piece of Alcantara, and it is also leatherette. There used to be, if I'm not mistaken, 10 Yamaha speakers, now there are 28. They are in all the headrests and even in the back. The driver's seat cushion became longer and there is a seat extender. The passenger on the right has one too. All seats are Napa leather, front massage, ventilation, heating, rear only heated. The steering wheel design is now like this, covered with Napa. Again, heard the people on the forums, removed these touchpads, now it's live buttons and quite good. Yeah, good, very good to press. The steering wheel height and reach adjustments are now on the tablet with a wheel and buttons. There used to be an LCD screen, now it's OLED. And finally, the Zeker 001 has a juicy screen, very cool and high quality. Can we move it? Yes, you can move it now, just like in 007, to move both the passenger side and the driver's side. Oh, I've missed this. This is one of the reasons why I chose the Z over the 001. Overpaid for, let's say, a Z instead of a 001, just because the screen turns. For me, for example, that's very important. I'm driving the Lixiang, I don't like it looking that way. I want it turned towards me. It adds to the driver's comfort. Since we're talking about hi-fi, I stopped by their showroom. Now there are fake stories that the company is bankrupt, showrooms are closed, and salaries have not been paid to employees. That's fake. But as they used to say in ancient China, the wind doesn't just blow out of nowhere. The company is really in financial trouble. They are now looking for an investor, so they have temporarily suspended production. They're not going bankrupt. Those showrooms that were weekly selling, they did close them down. 
my opinion as to why the company is having financial difficulties. The thing is that they immediately went into the most expensive segment. For example, Tesla hardly sells the S and X either. They survived because of the Model 3, because it sold very well in the beginning, and now Y sells very well. Hi-Fi company should have right after X, for example, not released Z, but released something very small, cool, and inexpensive. I think that's what they're going to do now, if they have enough, you know. 8, 2, 95, new chip. Yeah, the map works really fast. This is what the climate menu looks like. No English yet, but as you realize, it always comes up sooner or later at 001, a little later. Ambient lighting. 360, the cameras are the same as they were. And of course, the screen doesn't slow down a bit, as you can see. Music apps. All in all, vastly improved the screen. You can spin the car and, I assume, open my window. Yeah, it opens my door for some reason. What did I do? I wanted to... Oh, that's the door. Yeah, you can't open the window, only the door. Oh, we can get the air suspension up right now. Yeah, I feel like we're creeping up. Let's go back. In general, the center screen has been greatly improved. The dashboard screen has also been improved. It's now OLED as well. Here is, as you remember, the Big Brother's Eye, which monitors fatigue. Same material as the previous one, something like Alcantara. I see. Nothing here. The light bulb is touch sensitive. And ambient lighting. Heads-up display has been upgraded too. There's augmented reality. On the right is the map. In the center, augmented reality. As you can see, there are people to the left of my car, and they're actually standing to the left. You can even hear them. The design, as you can see, has remained the same. They removed this plastic thing that was unnecessary here. It wasn't wood. I don't know what the pattern was. It was crunchy too. It's been completely removed. I've noticed that Zeker is listening hearing feedback from owners on the forums. People complained about it. They said it wasn't clear what it was for, who it was for, young people or something. There was some weird pattern. It's been completely removed. Well done. It's now replaced by this neat grid. And the materials. The top is the same high-quality leatherette as on the top of the cards. And this is Napa. And here's Napa too. This is also Napa. Very smooth. Let's check for squeaks. Like on concrete. Also concrete. Look, nothing squeaks at all. Not even something to pick on. Let's try here. Look, as in Lixiang, second Lixiang, five. A solid five. Uh-huh. There's a little bit here, but it's air. It's thin. I'll give it five anyway. A different design for the gear selector. There's wireless charging. It's all covered in Alcantara. Volume. It's good. Two cup holders. One bigger, one smaller. Armrest. Charging ports. It's cloth covered on the inside. This is such a nice ambient lighting. Obviously you can choose different colors. The opening sensor is still here. The glove compartment is covered with fabric. This is what the ambient lighting on the door card looks like. It's glaring here for some reason. It doesn't glare in real life. It's just the way the light bulb behaves on camera. In general, I look at the camera here. Everything glares. Nothing in reality. The power window buttons now look like this. Touch screen central locking. We use this button to get out of the car. 187 centimeters tall, sitting behind myself, two fists in front of my knee, two fingers above my head. The backrest tilt is already adequate enough. It's already comfortable, and you can lean back even further. So I would even sleep here and go far away. Everyone who has ever sat in the back in 001 will definitely remember it forever. Very comfortable rear couch. Let's have a look at the armrest. Yeah, it's the same. There's a box here. That's the Napa, a place for a cell phone. Well, it's not a very sturdy design, pretty weak mechanism. Two cup holders. 
Okay, so the backrest controls have moved over here. And in the back, the passenger on the right has the option of moving the front seat. Either just move it or move the backrest. The backrests of the front seats look like this. And the back is also covered in leatherette. It's quite smooth. There is air and a hook here. At the back, the passengers have a small screen. Here you can control the climate, the music, the seats. Now there are two charging ports. Both fast and slow are in the same place. There are two batteries to choose from. The cheaper one is also the simpler one. It's an iron phosphate battery with 95 kilowatt hours. Before, if I'm not mistaken, it was 85. Now it's plus 10, 95, and a top of the line battery with 100 kilowatt hours. Lithium, Kirin, Cuddle's latest design, and the rear bumpers from the FR version. Let's get the trunk. 810 liters. Where's, why don't I see 810 liters? Let's have a look in here. Oh, that's it, no questions asked. If we remove this shelf, we can probably define it downward. Yeah, it goes down. Now it's clear, yes. Now let's look at some of the electronics here. There are buttons that you can use to lower the suspension down if the bags are heavy. Then you can raise it up. Now there's a 220 outlet and hooks. There's a speaker, and there are levers you can use to lower the back of the rear sofa. Left. Right. This shelf can be removed if you want. The floor is practically flat. Now we've got a thousand and forty liters. Let's take a look under the hood. Gas shocks. And there's a little niche. This is where we top off the water. The soundproofing. It's February 24th, and there are no official prices yet. They'll be available in five days. However, the dealer has already said in confidence, the prices will be about the same as for the previous 001. Agree. Taking into account such improvements, it is well very pleasant. That is, for the maximum, the most top version, will ask about 400,000 yuan. On a test drive, unfortunately, also so far, it is impossible to take. In about a week's time, we'll be driving it. Well, that's the end of it. If you like the video, put a like, subscribe to the channel, take care of yourself, get some exercise, good luck.